Port Patrick, a seaside village situated on the west coast of the Rins of Galloway in the county of Wigtownshire. Always an attraction for tourists, it's especially busy in the summer. But we're not staying here, we're heading south. Along this road, up these steps, and up a few more. Halfway up there's a bench, so sit down, catch your breath and enjoy the view. Onwards and upwards, along this path you'll come to a bridge. On one side the old Patrick railway line which closed in 1950. And, on the other, if you don't like heights, uh, don't look down. Soon, Dunsky comes into view. Now home to only a few crows, Dunsky once had a different history. Records show that there was an earlier fortification dating back as far as the 14th century. The Adairs held Dunsky. In 1489, a feud developed between the Adairs and the McCulloughs. The McCulloughs gathered a war party and attacked the castle. Dunsky was under siege. With Dunsky being defended on three sides by steep cliffs, there was only one way into the castle. The problem was, if there was only one way in, there was only one way out. All the McCulloughs had to do was to sit tight and wait. Eventually, the Adairs were starved out and surrendered the stronghold. Dunsky was plundered and burned. In 1510, the Adairs built the core of the castle we now see today, highlighted here in green. In 1620, the first Viscount Montgomery bought and extended Dunsky Castle, adding a gallery wing to the north. In 1648, ownership passed over to John Blair, minister of the parish of Port Patrick. By 1684, Dunsky was in ruin. Alexander Simpson's book, A Large Description of Galloway, in that year, described the castle as being wholly ruinous. <laughs> 